Welcome back to the show. The race is on to revolutionise the auto industry, but the take-up of electric cars thus far has been slow and also costly. An Israeli startup might have developed the next best thing here. It's already caught the eye of one major car manufacturer. Oren Lieberman has CNN's inside look at a new engine as it's put to the test. Only one thing matters at Spa in Belgium. At the Formula One testing circuit, speed is king. Every drop of energy pulled from man and machine. And if this is where you build up speed, the engine testing lab is where you create power. This is where revolution is coming together, a complete redesign of the piston engine. You take the engine after 150 years and you see that the modern engine, you find a huge number of parts, fully electric, fully computerized, you can do nothing, and at the end of the day, you don't get the result that you ask for. Shauli Yacobi is the mind behind the Aquarius engine. He's brought his engine here for testing. CNN was allowed inside the lab to see the engine tested for the first time. As a driver, you don't care about what actually drives the car. You just want it to function properly. So the question was, why do we need this rotating uh, machine? Is it the only way to achieve the energy? And the answer is no. The basic piston engine has barely changed ever since it was put in a car in the 1890s. The engine in a Model T Ford works much like the engine in a Porsche. For that matter, everything in between. The outside of the cars may look completely different, but the inside is very much the same. Look at this 3D model of an eight-cylinder engine. The piston in each cylinder fires in one direction, only when it goes down, and it only fires every other time it goes around. That linear motion, up and down, is turned into rotational energy. Aquarius, an Israeli startup, wants to change that. The piston in the Aquarius engine fires in both directions, in this engine left and right and it fires every time it moves back and forth. The piston then drives an electric motor. On today's electric cars, Aquarius says this engine can increase range and fuel efficiency. Pierre Detre is an engineer with 30 years experience with high performance engines. The genius of this one, he says, is its simplicity. Why simple? Because uh, you bring uh, definitely few parts, means also few friction inside the engine, and this, is, uh, this brings uh, high efficiency for the engine. Peugeot is already evaluating this new Israeli technology. Aquarius says they're in touch with other car makers as well, though co-founder Gal Friedman says they cannot say which ones. In less than two years, we have already three generations of working engines. This is <laughs> very fast especially for a country that has no environment of a, an ecosystem of engine manufacturing. In the well-established automobile industry, revolutions are slow, expensive. This, Friedman likes to say, is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Roshai.